you might belong in Gryffindor, where courage stands tall, as heavy grit fights the battles washing away all. Or in Ravenclaw's tower, where wisdom takes flight, and clever soup formulas show dirt its might. In Hufflepuff's cozy nook, where kindness resides, lather spreads its warmth in gentle strides. Perhaps Slytherin's realm, where ambition is keen, bricks slither through grime, leaving skin pristine. No matter to which abode you abide, we shall have you clean. Welcome to the Frickcast, School of Brickcraft and Niftery. In today's lesson, we will be learning of fantastic bricks and where to find them. Recently discovered in the forbidden section of the library was this ancient tome consisting of four dazzling bricks. There is the enchanted Brick of the Brave, rumored to once be the bar of choice for Godric Gryffindor himself, as its anti-aging properties rival even that of the Sorcerer's Stone. Shield your eyes as this is the illuminating grit of the genius, a bar packed with wisdom and freshness as its charms are set to grant fortune to its user even more powerful than liquid luck. One must not forget the humble lather of the loyal. Don't let its simple appearance fool you, for its freshly baked scent is more filling than a feast in the Great Hall. Now beware of the cursed suds of the sly, for this brick is hexed with nourishing and moisturizing properties. It is said to have belonged to Salazar Slytherin himself, and rumor has it, it just very well may be a horcrux. Fear not though. The walls of this shower are fortified with the most powerful spells to protect against such unrestrained evil. Now, Mains, we will take a closer look at each one of these bricks, abiding by the order of niftiness. However, if you feel you wish to learn more about a particular one, I suggest you consult Professor Frick's individual soap guides, which will be available at the end of today's lesson. We will begin with the weakest of the quartet, the Grit of the Genius, our Ravenclaw brick. Although it is last today, you can probably smell the charm spells from the back of the classroom. It is a strong, sporty cologne scent that smells like a raven eagle soaring in the sky. However, one with a bit of an unnatural fragrance to it. It is supposedly a light grit, but research in the shower shows this claim to be deceitful. It lacks grit like Gilderoy Lockhart, but it is strong enough to wash away the stain of defeat. It is infused with beneficial ingredients like blue passion flower and crownwood fern. Hmm. Five points for Ravenclaw. Take this up to your nerd tower for further research. Ah yes, next we have a powerful brick indeed. Gryffindor's own Brick of the Brave. Careful, careful now. Like Hagrid, this is a thick boy packed with a heavy grit that only the bold can withstand. With ingredients like lion's tooth granules, Gryffonia lysate, and sword grass, you will always achieve victory in the shower. Yes, and that scent reminds me of when we used to sneak into the Gryffindor common room and be greeted with that cozy hearth. You may smell that rich, warm, woody scent like burning incense for divination. Which of you lion hearts dares to wield this brick? Very good. Ten points for Gryffindor. Ah, uh, now we have some house bias. With Slytherin's Suds of the Sly. A zero grit bar as sleek and smooth as that basilisk that killed your classmates last semester. Ah, oh, the memories this scent brings back. We were just some good old Slytherin boys, Slytherin around the castle. A hidden chamber there, a cursed relic here, a hate crime over th Ah, well anyways, it is a sweet herbal medicinal scent capable of curing the worst of ailments. With nourishing ingredients plucked straight from the Black Lake like snake grass, necklace pod, and skull cap, it is said to wash away all traces of mudblood in the shower. 15 points for Slytherin. Uh, Alright guys, I need you to stop rubbing your hands together menacingly and take this down to the dungeons for safekeeping. But of course, we have saved the most powerful for last, the unlikeliest of victors. We have Hufflepuff's very own Lather of the Loyal. Ah, what a beautiful scent, like butter beer for breakfast, with those notes of maple, vanilla, and honey. It is a smell most appetizing, although we must be wary of consuming such a delicacy. With a medium grit that's more so light, and ingredients taken straight from the herbology department, like badger yellow oats, cup plant, and pumice, it is a nourishing way to start the day. Hmm, this is getting me hungry. Hey, you Huffle Boy! Take this brick and go prepare us a feast. 20 points for Hufflepuff. 
Now that we've examined these four mythical bars, let us turn our attention to the tome they were found in. And just look at that craftsmanship. It is believed to be forged by the hands of goblins, and its pages lined with green got gold. The cover contains the many symbols of the four Hogwarts houses in intricate detail. Let us open the old spell book and discover the secrets held within its gilded pages. As you see, we have a beautiful mural that prophesied Hogwarts saviors. Already you are seeing the mystical powers of this tome, and we once again have the four great houses, with a description detailing each one's principles. Removing the sacred bricks, we are greeted by each founder's relics, the Sword of Gryffindor, the Diadem of Rowena Ravenclaw, the Cup of Helga Hufflepuff, and the Locket of Salazar Slytherin. Priceless artifacts rivaled only by the four great bricks. The collection as a whole is one of the best we've seen. It is certainly the best collector's box. And when you take into account the box, the theme, and the bars themselves, overall I think we have the best collection that the Sasquatch Wizards have created. Certainly better than that superhero one. And there you have it means, some fantastic bricks and where to find them. Until next time we meet, you are required to stay nifty, and remember, there is but one thing to say to generic soap.